I'm back. I am so sorry. I have to keep on re recording these videos because either someone interrupts me or my computer tells me that I need to clear clean up some space. So it's gonna get kind of annoying. Here we go. Okay, so the first book I have here, uh, my friend Rochelle got bought me for like a belated Christmas gift, and I really, really appreciate it, Rochelle. Thank you so much for this gift. I am so glad I got the third book in in the Divergent series, and I am hopefully soon will read the series or maybe marathon the books if possible. That is. So the first, this book here is called Allegiant. It's the collector's edition. It's like it's written by Veronica Rog, and the cover. I actually like the cover. It's it. That's the sky, right? That looks more like a wave or a sky. And uh, down there, down there apparently is um some place or factory or whatever. I don't know. But basically, is a continuing of the second book and the third and the first book. I've read the first book and completed it cover to cover, but I was un I went halfway through Insurgent and I had to, I don't remember I don't know why I forgot all about it. So I'm gonna read Insurgent, then I'll go on and read A Legion. So here's the little story. Um, it was the day we came back from I guess from Christmas break. I, wa I was walking side by side with Rochelle, and she actually got. She said that she got me a got me the the book, and I was actually I was really happy that she got she bought me a present, and she handed it over to like handed me the book Allegiant, and at the time I was actually really excited, and I didn't even notice that it said collector's edition on the cover. And, um, when I got into Mr. Fisher's class and sat down in my seat, uh, yeah, I re I read the cover completely and it said collector's edition, so I was, I started to get super excited when there was also a sticker right there, um, contains Natalie's journals, deleted scenes, discussion guide, and more. So I was like, what? And then I was thinking that if it's a collector's edition, then it had to be signed, maybe on the cover. So I opened up this and look what I see. Right there, Veronica, he signed, signed Veronica Frog. And it's kind of, it, it, oh! I think it looks sometimes the covers won't go back on once you take them off. Okay, so I was really, really excited when I saw the cover and when I saw that it was signed. It also came with a poster, which is actually. Um, it is. It is, it says, I belong to the people I love, and they belong to me. They and the love and loyalty I give them, for my identity far more than any word or group ever could. And it, and the quote was said by Tris Pryor. I was really happy that I actually got this book, so happy that I could, I was like, really smiling big. And, and I don't have to get my own bookmark because it's got its own bookmark. So basically, it's, again, it's a continuing of, I don't know if I said what the book's about, but I am sorry if I'm repeating myself, I'm just really excited right now. So it's a continuing of book one and book two in a Divergent series. And Tris Pryor has to deal with impossible choices like sacrifice, allegiance, allegiance love, and courage. So... Tobias and her go into this, like, go beyond their borders of their fallen city. I'm just going to say fallen city. And they notice that things were far, far worse than they could ever imagine. So, 
I'm go I'm not gonna say any more because I have not read the rest of the book and I have not even started reading the book yet, but I'm hoping to get to it pretty soon, sometime this year or next year. So thank you again, Rochelle. I really appreciate it. Next book I have here is actually a book that I this is from Walmart. The next file I have is from Walmart. So. I'm already like 41 pages in. It is Bloodlines by Rachel Mead. Mead? 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 Whatever. I'm just gonna say Mead. Um, I was watching, but I was watching the BookTube channel when I saw majority of the BookTubers actually have Bloodlines and how and they said that it's like re a really good book and everything. So I was like, huh. Maybe if I see it, I'll actually buy it. So, um, this was also after Christmas after Christmas break when we came back. Um, Jessica, one of my other one of my friends, she actually gave gave me a card with and a gift card inside it, and I was I was happy about that too. And I, I again thank you, Jessica, also for giving me that gift card. And yeah, so. This one is one they this was one of the books that I actually bought and it's it was $9.99 at Walmart. So I had a Walmart gift card and I was like, okay, maybe I could, maybe Walmart's got some good books. So I went to Walmart, went into the book section, and there it was. Bloodlines just sitting on the shelf. I was really excited and I picked it up, read the back. And wow, mm, I got hooked into it. So I started reading it like on Wednesday or something. So basically, from what I can confirm from this, from what I've read so far, is that it's about this girl named Sydney. She's an al alchemist. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Why do they always put so many big words in it that I can't even understand? But it's alchemist. Alchemist? Al. Alchemist. I can't pronounce that name. So Sydney is an alchemist, alchemist, whatever, and she's she wants to protect her sister, but her sister apparently takes it the wrong way and thinks she's embarrassed herself. And what Sydney was just trying to do was to protect her little sister. And I don't like the father very much so far. So uh, Sydney and this other guy named Keith, he ends up having like. To get what he did not want, he did not want um, Sydney to go along. She, he wanted Zoe, but Zoe wasn't quite ready yet. So uh, he's he just decided, okay, fine, what the heck? Let's okay, fine, let J Sydney go and everything. So they have to protect this one girl named Jill Moroy. I think that's the last name. And. Um, they head to Palm Springs where they get everything ready for Jill's arrival. And Sydney has to live with the vampire. So she does not, she's not so happy about that because she had a little runoff with some other bad vampires. But this one, she has to protect uh, Jill to stop a civil war going on. And there are many things like secrets and, um... From mid and romance. So about and about the cover. Actually I love the cover actually, especially with the little image of like the little tattoo that they talked about. And I was and she had blonde hair. She's so pretty. OMG. And I like how they made the title. They made they made thorns, making it look like a rose. And this got this must be Keith or something, but I'm really super happy that I actually started reading this book. I'm hoping that I'll finish it soon. So yeah. Next book I don't know much about, so I am sorry I can't tell you much about this. Next book is Looking for Alaska by John Green. Okay, so I was out. I went to one to one of the WalMarts, and it wasn't just Cone Walmart because Cone because I my family and I we went grocery shopping. So okay, let's just say we went shopping. Ignore the grocery part. Just, yeah. 
and I was I did I was like I'm going to go to the book section to see what kind of books they had, and I walked there, looked at the shelves, not much good books. Some of them I didn't even heard of. Some some of them were actually like the third book in the series, and I didn't want to start a series with one with just a third book, so. I was really get I was really disappointed and I was getting ready to leave and go with my family when I suddenly boom saw this right here. Um some people said they are they're actually good. Rochelle, she even said this was good too. So I'm going to try to actually read this book Pretty soon, it's actually on my reading list, that my TBR list that I'm actually reading with. So, I read most of the books in here, but not a lot. I don't know why. But I'm a pretty slow reader, so it takes me, like, about three weeks to actually read, like, a big book. Or it takes me about a week to actually read a book this size. It's a quick read, and I'm excited to actually um, start it soon. I'm gonna, I'm hoping I'll actually start liking it, so. This book I have here is also a book that I got with the card and a discount. Yeah. So, it is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I have never read any Rick Yancey novels before, so I'm really curious, I'm really hoping I can actually get into this book. It's an it's a sci-fi book and I'm not much of sci-fi, more of a paranormal fantasy kind of gal or an action type of gal. But um this book's about this these this one girl who ends up having to like their their world is like I guess ending or something and then these alien beings called others show up and take her little brother so now she has to um work with someone who she believes is one of the others or something and they have to she has to like try to get her brother back before it's too late and i am really hoping that she's actually going to get her brother back so this book my mother got me when i was like in bed very sick this was like about a few this was last month and about a a week ago or something. And that book is Bear to You, a Crossfire Novel by Sylvia Day. This is a an adult novel, and I've never read an adult novel before. I've never even tried. So, um, this book is kind of similar to the Fifty Shades of Grey, was it? I think that's fifty I think it was Fifty Shades of Grey. Um it's a romance novel. And it was about, like, it's about this one girl, um, who actually, who has a crush on, I guess, this guy, and this guy has a crush on her. And when I read the back, I was thinking, oh, maybe this is a paranormal, but I'm not even sure if it's paranormal, because I have not actually picked this book up and read it yet. Um, I'm going to be pretty soon reading it. So it's like almost like the last thing on my list, but I have way much more books that I have got to read, especially the books that are coming on Book Outlet. So this one, I my mom got it from Walmart where she worked, and I'm really cur I'm really curious if this is like good or not. So I'm really hoping I can get into this, and this is how long it's about. Hold on. It's three hundred thirty-four pages. So I pro it's probably going to take me about, like, maybe two or three weeks to actually finish this if I actually pick it up and read it. So, yeah. If you guys have any hard covers, paper bags, soft covers, all that kind of stuff. So, next book I have here is the new, is The City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. This book is the third book in the Moral Instruments series, and it's actually turning into a movie. It's an ABC, it's already on Freeform, which is a new name of ABC Family. Um, it's, it comes on on Tuesdays at 9, 8 central, but I'm de debating whether or not if I should actually uh, watch the TV show or continue with the series, because I finished the first book, I didn't get started on the second or third book. 
So, I'm going to um, try reading the second book and try not to actually watch the TV show every Tuesday because some of them might give this part away. And to be honest, I think the books are a little bit better than the TV show because the TV show just like just messed up the messed up the thing. And messed up the whole series or something. But yeah. It's still a good movie. It's still a good TV series. And this is the hardback cover, and I think it's Jace. That is Jace, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think that's either... Is it? No, that's Simon. I think. I think this is Simon on the cover. I don't know who's on the cover. It's probably Simon, because he doesn't have any of those runes that they say about in the series. So, I, this has definitely got to be Simon, because he, because in the first book, he, he's an, he took camp that involves archery or something, and that's, I'm guessing that's him on the cover here, but these covers, these are the new covers, they are so beautiful than the original covers. I mean, I like the original covers, but the new covers are so much better, especially if it's in hardback, so... I'm hoping to actually get through this book soon, and this one's about this girl. It's a continuing of the City of Bones, the Moral Instruments series. I don't know why I keep saying City of Bones. Um, it's about like Clary. She has to travel to the City of Glass, um, which is actually illegal in the Shadowhunter world. What I'm guessing, and Jace, apparently being her brother, maybe. Um. Jace doesn't want her to go because she's going to end up having to be either arrested or killed. And Simon is believed to be a vampire who can withstand the light. So I'm really curious. I'm really confused and curious about that too. I have to read the second book to find out. Because something's up. Something's really up. So Yeah, I can't wait to get to this book and I'm so excited. So. Book is my my MK um book see books that I bought at MK Amazon. So there are mainly paperbacks. I think I like paperbacks more. I'm I'm into like either paperbacks or hardcovers, so I'm I can deal with any one of them. The first book I have here is actually a first book in the series. There's also a book that comes before this one, which I saw at the Dollar General, and ow, my tongue, um, is Nightshade by Andrea Kramer? Kramer? I think that's Kramer. So basically, this one's about this girl who can turn into a wolf, and I'm all about, like, people turning into wolves, so again, it's, like, paranormal, and I'm into, like, vampires and werewolves and people turning into wolves because I think like wolves in my opinion are very majestic I just like mm. okay so um apparently this the main character risked her life to save this one guy who is also a wolf I guess I have not read the first the actual the book that came before this one so um she has, like, this, that guy is wanting to challenge her, like, how wolves challenge each other to be the leader of the pack. So, she challenge, she gets challenged, and she's, she has to defeat this guy, I guess, before, like, she ends up losing, like, be, not being the alpha leader or something. So, this one was actually really cheap. And McKay is actually cheap, too, just not as cheap as... As um, book outlet because book outlet actually doesn't give you tax, so I'm happy about that. Um, I think this one was about like three dollars or five dollars for this one book, so it's a used book, so apparently it's gonna be used just a little bit and it's worn out a little. So, and about the cover, that looks so cool. I mean, like, it's showing her. Changing from human to wolf. 
<laughs> I would love to, t to turn them to that. But, I have to, but it's just my imagination. So this book, it, I like the quote says here, up here. She can control her pack, but not her heart. So apparently she's in love with this challenger. So I can't wait to read this. Next one is the second book in the Moral Instruments series, and it's the original cover, and that is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. Uh, the City of Ashes, um, it's a, again, it's a continuing of the second book. I have not read this book yet. I want to continue it, but, like, I have other books that I want to read and everything. So, Clary Frey, this is Clary Frey on the cover. I'm, I know it's her. Because it's her hair right there. Her hair is right there. So. Um, I'm not going to go into detail because this actually spoils the first book. But I've read the first book. If you have not read the first book, then I'm not going to actually say it. So, yeah. Now about the cover. Um, I kind I like it, but I don't like the fact that her head's cut off. Like half her head's cut off. And it's so, it's so pretty though. Shiny. Okay. Almost done. I have five more books. Not from the MK pile, but I also have Barnes and Nobles that I gotta do. <sighs> Talking too much today. Okay, so this book is actually, apparently, I picked up a sequel. Which I was supposed to pick up the first book before the sequel. And that is Fell by David Clement Davis. Bell is an, is another one of the wolf, um, another wolf novel that I'm 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 actually into wolves and everything. This was in my wolf phase, so I have so many phases. My dad says I'm scattered brain, but I'm not scattered brain. Just saying. So this book, it's um, you know, I'm just gonna read the back. I'm getting tired of like, I'm just gonna read the back. I. I can't memorize this whole thing. So it says here, Among the wolves of Transylvania walks a fearful legend, a black wolf, with the power to see into the minds of other animals. Bell is a curl, a loner, separated from his pack by the power of the sight, and by his guilt over the death of his beloved sister, Larka. The villagers call, call Alina a changeling, a creature left by the fairies, and fear her. The shepherd Malduk, who ra who rescued her from the snows, makes her dress as a boy and work twice as hard as one. It is a bitter, lonely life, haunted by terrible dreams. Until the day Alina learns some of the truth about her past and sets out into the into a world fraught with danger to find her real home. In this thrilling fantasy, a sequel to David Clement Davis' best-selling novel, *The Sight*, a wolf and a girl. Both looking for answers to the visions haunting them must overcome their natures to share a journey that will bring their worlds, animal and human, to a greater understanding. So basically, um, the changelings of fairy of some kind, and fell is the name of the person of the wolf. So the cover looks. The cover looks kind of creepy. It's paranormal and it's kind of creepy because you got the eyes of the wolf. And it's like literally two different colors. Two different colors. You see that? And the, and it's got the Transylvanian castle where supposedly Dracula lived. Well, the real Dracula, not 